This video is for everybody who's bringing a truck to the barn in Sanford on Saturday, December 5th for the Tug of Wars. If that is not you, there's probably no reason to watch this video because it's going to be a couple minutes long. I even have a cheat sheet, right? I'll try, that's a lot of stuff. I'm gonna to try to get through all of that, so it's gonna take a couple of minutes, and I'll try to do it without excessively using the words um and uh. Let's see how this goes. First of all, the load-in time for the pits is three to five. Now, I understand some guys are coming in from a long ways away and you get there early. There's no need to get there at like noon. But if you do, if you get there early, which I get, just hang out and park. Don't unload everything. Don't be doing all that because my staff knows where everything needs to be as far as parking goes, right? And we have limited amounts of room. So inevitably, if you get there early and you unload and you start setting up, it'll be right in the middle of everything and my guys may have to ask you to move. So just be ready for that, three to five. Get there in that window. Now you've got a lot of things going on in that window of three to five. We've got VIP trucks rolling in, all the tug of war trucks rolling in, food trucks, radio stations, sponsors, all that. There's a lot of moving parts. So what I'm doing today is it's not like I'm going crazy with a bunch of rules. This is a flow chart. It's just gonna make everything easier. And if you guys can just work with us on this, it'll flow so much better. So I did that, right? The three to five thing, very important. So if you know that you wanna do tug of war, but you can't get there until seven o'clock, look, there's not much I can do for you because at five o'clock we're shutting that gate and it is what it is. We gotta get things moving and move on to the next thing. Here's a very important thing. Arrive and park. Once you get there, or just pull up. I'll have staff, they'll probably put you in a place. They'll say, hey look, we're gonna put you over here. Just listen to them. The guys have been doing this for a long time. It's easier if you don't argue with them or anything like that. Look, they just wanna make everybody happy and make everything go as smooth as possible. And here is the most important thing as far as what I think on the night. When you get there, just park wherever they tell you, right? And then don't unload yet. Walk over to the admission area. Now their admission staff at the barn will be ready at three o'clock in the afternoon. They'll be ready. Pay your nightclub admission. Get your armband for being 21 and up. Handle all that. That's like the clerical stuff. Get that done, get it out of the way. It'll be so much easier. Trust me on this. I kind of know what I'm talking about. Then go back to your truck and then unload it. It's just so much easier. Now, once you're unloaded, you move your truck into the pit area. Those of you that have been there before, you know where it's at. If you haven't, don't worry. It's not complicated. It's very easy to find. Everything is really tight right in there. You'll see the lovely and talented Mud Tank Dave, along with some other trucks gone wild staff. They'll be at the gate. No coolers, all right? So you can't bring coolers in the back of your truck into the pit area, and it's you and one other person. Now, that's the thing. You'd be like, Matt, I, I got 20 friends of mine rolling. Well, they don't need to all be in the truck when you drive into the pits. The pit is not a party area. The pit is the staging area for the tug of war. So when you go through there and you'll show Dave your armband that you paid at the front gate, he's gonna give you four pit passes, right? Not 10, they're not worth anything. You can't buy more of them or anything like that. He's gonna give you the four and that is for you and your immediate crew so that you guys can go back and forth from like uh, the general population to the pits and all that. But again, when you pull into the pits, it's you and one other person in the truck. We'll have guys sitting there checking. Let me go back to my list, making sure that I can check everything. Very important to bring your ID. It's a nightclub. It is what it is. Uh, even if you're 75, just bring your driver's license. All right? Then you go, no coolers. I covered that. You get your pit passes. Driver's meeting number one will take place at 5.30 right there in the pits. We'll get everybody together because I want to start at 6 o'clock. Right around that, you know, 6, 6.05, whatever. We'll do the driver's meeting, go over everything. We'll set up all the pulls for the first round. That'll probably be 15 or 20 pulls. And we'll get those set up. We'll do the first round. At the end of the first round, we'll go back into the pits and we'll set up the second round of pulls. And the reason I do that is I don't want to set the whole night up because sometimes guys do one or two pulls and then they want to party the rest of the night. That's awesome. But if they signed up for a pull later, I can't find them. And I don't want to wait, right? So you guys for the second round, those are the guys that want to pull like four and five times in the night. You guys be ready back there for the second round driver's meeting and that'll take place, or, uh, take place right after the break. No drinking in the pits. There, I said it, you know it. It's always been the rule. There's signs up this, that, the other. There will be staff to remind you. That's it, guys, so now you know. Let's see, so, so if they catch you with one, you know, don't go acting like they did something wrong <laughs> and that I could fix it, right? I'm gonna be a little bit busy as I am on those. So bodies must remain in the vehicle during tug of war, like when the truck is moving. This makes sense, right? So when you guys pull out and you park, I get it, you wanna fire up the crowd and you got some, you know, booty shaking out the side of the door, that's cool, I'm down with that, as long as the truck's not moving. So once it's moving, all everybody's gotta be inside the truck and the number of people in the truck is directly related to the number of seats, right? So you don't need to have 30 people in the truck because I think we've seen that. But if you've got two big bench seats, you could probably fit 
you know, six or seven people in there pretty easily. Bring fire extinguishers. Always a good idea to have those. Even if you don't need it, the guy next to you might. So, and it's always polite, you know. It's what we do in this. If the guy next to you is burning down and you have a fire extinguisher, it's nice to give your fire extinguisher to that guy. It comes back around there later on. Another really important one. Drive slowly on and off the pad. This is a... I get it. There's a lot of testosterone. There's horsepower and you're fired up and there's people cheering and the announcer's making you look really cool. I get it. But you don't need to go hot rodding onto the pad and off of the pad. There's a lot of people walking around. All right, just try to be safe. A lot of us love these events and we want to keep them going for years to come and I would ask that you not be the reason that they end. All right. So please share this video with anybody that you know that is doing the tug of wars. I know I'm at almost six minutes. That's fine. But it is very informative and I'm gonna put this out before Thanksgiving, so you might be sitting around. I hope you had a good Thanksgiving time with the friends and family, and you can watch this video and get all the information that you need. If you have any questions, if there's anything that I didn't cover on this, just put it in the thread. I'll be checking this from time to time, and I will try to answer the questions as best as possible. All right, thank you guys, I appreciate it. Again, this is not me going down a, a bunch of rules or anything, it's just that we've been doing these events for a long time, and we kind of know how they go. And if you guys can just help us follow this little flow chart, everything will go smoothly for everybody. So thanks again. And we look forward to seeing you guys at the barn on Saturday, December 5th. See ya.